This video presentation will be presented by Kong Seng Hao and Tan Li Mei. This presentation, we are going to present the fake news detection using deep learning. Before that, we would like to take this opportunity to thank Dr. Gan King Hoon and Dr. Noor Hana Samsudin for supervising us throughout this project. In these presentations, we will cover from introductions, problem statement, project objective and motivations, methodology, results and discussions, and we will end with the discussion and future plan. My name is Limi and I will be the first presenter to present the paper. I believe everyone should have at least one experience by receiving fake news. Fake news is no longer happen through what we listen from human. Yet, fake news has been extended to the biggest scourge in digital connected world. It is defined as a subject including news, data, report and information that wholly or partly false. This impact of the fake news from personnel until society is huge and no longer limit to conflicts. Besides that, there are billions of articles created every day on the web. People might be the helping hand by spreading or share the news without knowing the news is real or fake through any electronic devices. And in 2018, Brazilians has experienced and being poisoned by the fake news via WhatsApp. The reason was because there are a total of 44% of Brazilian voters use WhatsApp to know about their country political and electronic information. This spreading of fake news and misleading information can eventually cause confusions and rumors circulating around and the victims could be badly impacted. Which one of the worst impacts is committing suicide. Since all the impacts has go into humans daily life and it means in future, the impact will be bigger. Hence, the motivations of this study, we aim to apply natural language processing techniques for text analytics and to train deep learning models for detecting fake news based on news title or news content. In this video presentation, we will also propose a solution to be applied in real-world social media and eliminate the bad experience for users to receive the misleading information that come from non-reputable sources. We have identified two problem statements. For the first statement, Many of the detection systems nowadays are focusing on online review and public posting in social media. Second problem statement is it is difficult to detect fake news because it exists in variety of pattern and there's a huge leap in NLP framework. Project objective. We aim to develop a deep learning model with sentiment analysis capability and to identify fake news based on news title or news content. Ultimately, this project will be able to reduce the spreading of fake news or misinformation as well as reduce cyber crimes. Project methodology in this paper, we apply machine learning workflow approach. First, we will start to collect the data, explore the data, we prepare the data, and we train the model. Then we will evaluate the model, and finally, the model deployment. Data collections. 
The data we collect is English language news. This data collected from Kaggle and this data consists of 9,800 rows and three attributes. For the three attributes are new title, new content and label. For the news title is the title of news collected in English. For the news content is the content of news collected in English. And for the label is the real or fake label of news collected. Thank you, Li Mei. I'm Sheng Hao, the next presenter to present this work. After the data collection, then we begin with data exploration. As could be observed from the chart, the dataset is considered as a balanced dataset with 50.5% of real news label and also 49.5% of fake news label. And further exploring our dataset, these two charts provided are showing the top 20 words from each of the real and fake news label. And it is possible to observe that the top 20 words appear in both the real and fake news label are nearly similar, such as Trump, US, and Clinton, and then etc. And this actually indicates that there is no bias in our dataset. Then we come to data preparation. In this stage, we perform text preprocessing and prepare all the data in numerical word vectors form. This is mainly because we would like to convert all the text into machine readable format so that later on we can fit these numerical word vectors into our deep learning model. In our data preparation, we first remove all the special characters from the news dataset through regular expression and then follow by splitting the text into individual words and lemmatizing them back to their roots. After that, we remove all the stop words such as we, the, this, is, and finally converting them into n-gram vectors or sequence vectors for comparison purpose. In model training stage, fit forward neural network is used. Four different models are trained with different input vectors. And the first model is trained with the n-gram vectors of news title. Second model is trained with the n-gram vectors of news content. The third model is trained with the sequence vectors of news title. And the last model is trained with the sequence vectors of news content. Then the fit forward neural network is constructed from four different uh, four layers, which the first layer or the input layer is fed with the aforementioned four different word vectors. Then the second layer and third layer are ReLU layers with 20% of dropout rate to reduce the uh, to reduce overfitting. And the last layer is actually the sinusoid layer that will give an output of zero or one for real or fake label. After training the four models, we evaluate the models with three different performance metrics, which are accuracy, recall, and computation time. As observed from the first two charts, it's possible to see that model two and model four are performing better than model one and three. This is mainly because model two and four are trained with news content that has larger corpus compared to model one and three that has fewer corpus. Beside that, model 2 that is trained with n-gram vectors performs better than uh, model 4, which is trained with a uh, sequence vector. And next, looking at the computation time required, model 2 and model 4 that are trained with news content required more computation time due to the large training corpus. And it is also possible to see that um, model 1 that is trained with n-gram vector require less computation time due to the corpus that is lesser as compared to model 3. However, when, the corp, uh, when, the la, uh, when there is large corpus, it requires more time to train as observed from model 2 when compared to model 4. Therefore, based on the results on 10, we are recommending that model 1 that is trained with n-gram vectors of news title to be deployed in the social media apps that users tend to respond faster such as WhatsApp and WeChat. This is mainly because this model requires lower computation time and it can possibly achieve almost 90% of recall that a fake news is less likely to be misdetected or misclassified. Then, Model 2 that is trained with n-gram vectors of news content is more suitable to be deployed in social media apps 
such as Facebook, uh, such as Facebook or Twitter that publish news as feeds. This is mainly because user feeds may not be may not be updated so fast on and so frequent, and also user may not really realize it. In such a case where computation time is not crucial, model with higher accuracy and recall is more preferable. As a conclusion of this project, the models trained with n-gram vectors are actually performing better than the models trained with sequence vectors. And also, models trained with news title is more suitable to be deployed in the fast response apps due to the fast computation time and high recall. On the other hand, models trained with news content is more suitable to be deployed in feeds-based uh, apps as computation time is not a, really a concern and also high accuracy and recall is more preferable. As of the future work, to improve the model performance, this model can possibly be enhanced with recurrent neural network long short term memory and also further research and analysis can be done on the images or videos embedded within the news content. Also, to implement this solution in Malaysia, the news dataset can be collected from Malaysia instead of Kaggle and also further research and development can be done for Malay and Chinese language news. These are the references that we use in our slides. That's all from our project. We appreciate your time with us. Thank you.